Terry, I want to ask you a question. When you were doing that out there and you started cutting, there's a couple times you pulled off that cow and started to circle. Explain why you were doing that. Well, in cutting, when we drop our hand, this horse, we make an imaginary line. And that judge knows where that line's at. And this horse don't need to cross that line. So every time he makes a turn, he needs to stay back on that line. So at home, when I'm training on my young horses or my finished horses, when a cow stops moving and I want to go back to that cow and that cow's got more run in it, I'll unhook him, circle him, and then rehook him. That way my horse at the cuttings don't think, well, I can just change this line and step on up or into that cow. He can't do it. Okay. And so I rehook the horse. And, and that's the way I started. From and, you, and now I'm going to ask you a question. You pull them off and circle them or you circle them to it? I always turn to the cow. Okay. If so, that cow's on my right side, I'll spin so to right the right and then rehook. Okay. All right. And you can do this and get that, that cow to step off and change directions yes. or cause movement again by doing so. And that way you avoid getting so much forward motion of a cutting horse. All right. So this way that horse doesn't keep chasing them up. Yeah. This yeah. is why we were talking about tracking and mating. Only a couple times doing it. Yeah. Start applying it to this type of situation. So, Terry, go out there one more time, and let's do it again. All right. Let's step it up a little bit.